If you are watching this video, I want to believe that you're already aware of the issue currently going on with Mackenzie and Dennis Igwe. So yesterday evening, I started receiving notifications on my platform. People were commenting, Lucky, I'm disappointed in you. You've lost your humanity. Lucky, I can't believe you knew about the situation. I kept quiet. At first, I was really confused where those comments were coming from until a friend of mine reached out to me and she told me my name was mentioned on Honest Bunch podcast that she just finished watching it. So I had to go check it out myself. I discovered that Dennis Igwe mentioned that I was supposed to interview him, but unfortunately, after meeting with Mackenzie, I changed my mind. I understand how such statements will trigger a lot of people, especially those of you who believe in me, because I know a lot of people look up to me and a lot of people love and respect me, especially those of you that have been supporting me. So I think I owe it to you to explain what really happened. Apparently, it was not quite long ago that I knew about this issue, just about a few weeks ago, and I was the one that reached out to Dennis Igwe. I told him, I saw the short video you made that you wanted to talk about what really happened between you and Mackenzie. Would you like to share the story on my platform? Dennis Igwe said, yes. I said, okay, where are you right now? He said, he's in Port Harcourt. I said, oh, I'm in Abuja and I just left Port Harcourt. Uh, how are we going to meet? Although I have a flight that I already booked to Enugu State because there was this Nollywood actress that period that was um, in the hospital and the family were reaching out to me that they really need help they need to raise money for our hospital bills but unfortunately the day before my flight i think she passed away anyways i was still going to go to uh, i was still going to go to enuga and i knew i was going to see them anyway. surprisingly coincidentally i don't know how it happened though, but mackenzie came to abuja and um, then i reached out to him i told him that I'm going to be interviewing Dennis Igwe, you know, that he has some things to say about what really happened between the both of you. Would you like to share your own side of the story? Then Mackenzie explained to me that this is not the first time that Dennis have attempted to make an interview about what happened between the both of them. That at some point, the, the case even went to the police station. He explained a lot of things to me anyway. So I then reached out to Dennis again. I told him that, oh, I was with Marco and this is all Mark had to say. And Dennis was started saying that, oh my goodness, that I'd already met Mark, that he doesn't believe that, uh, I would, that, um, that he's very sure that his story will not be told again. I said, why is he making such statements? That, I mean, if you come to somebody's platform to make, you know, a claim, do you understand me? Um, in as much as people love to hear this story, this is somebody, you are talking about somebody else's life. It is important that somehow they are aware of what you want to say. Nobody is saying you cannot share your story, but that's what they call defam defamation or something like that. I told him that, bro, I am still interested to interview you, but I've listened to both parties. Is it possible that we see how we can have a meeting together i mean the both of you instead of you telling me your own side of the story mackenzie telling me his own side of the story as at this point i'd already i'd already flown to um i don't know if my english is correct to enugu i had invited all the people i was going to um, tell their story emmanuel Bay and other people i'd already even asked my pa i flew down with my pa to book a hotel reservation for Dennis Igwe. Then he said he didn't have transport and sent him money. So he was even on his way and he was even very happy. Then I called Mackenzie. I told him that, um, is it possible for him to be present? Because I would like him to be part of this conversation. He said he couldn't get any flights to Enugu. That he's on his way to Port Harcourt. That, um, then I told him that, please, let us see how we can have a meeting about this instead of just rushing to social media to talk about it he said he was interested i should go to i should continue with whatever it is i want to do with dennis i told him that it is and then i called dennis i said dennis this is what mark is saying to you within yourself do you have interest to settle with mark let's see if this issue can be handled behind the scene dennis told me he doesn't mind he's willing to settle I called Mark, it took me three hours on the phone to convince Mark. Mark finally agreed that the meeting was going to be in Port Harcourt. I didn't even know at this point, I was even fooling fully myself, uh, you know. So, I was already done with all my shoots. At this point, I was supposed to go back. I know I, I don't want to talk about the expenditures I had to make. I had to travel down to Port Harcourt. The one who got to Port Harcourt, 
um it even took me time to see the both person these are people that i'm trying to even still see if i could help them i'm just innocent in the whole thing anyway um so we agree we are going to have a meeting in the night and um yes because uh, according to mackenzie he said he has some visitors he was having a very busy time. although he said we are going to have an interview in south later he said his house is really really far that is not in the center of potaco in the town so let's find somewhere else to meet maybe my hotel i said no problem i told dennis and dennis came around then mackenzie later came but that day the, we had that meeting was like a friday night so there was a club in the hotel i lost and it was really really loud so we couldn't have a meeting there then in, in mackenzie said let's drive somewhere so we drove to a quiet place to have the meeting then isigwe came with his sister and his manager why mackenzie came with another content creator i've forgotten the guy name though um, but he's a comedian as well then me i came with my pa we all sat down together then i, I was the one that started the conversation i thanked everybody for coming then i told them that okay this is i was the one that reached out to um, dennis dennis said he had a lot of things to say about him that you mark angel you cheated him okay i this thing i said it in their present if anything i'm saying here is a lie dennis is a lie he can make a video to counter what i'm saying then i said okay we are let us address all these issues okay so dennis can you tell mackenzie what you told me dennis said the same thing but most of the things he said in that podcast he said them then i told mackenzie i said i could interview this guy and people it would draw sympathy on all of those things but the, at the end of the day the reason for the interview is that he needs to be compensated so i believe that we can have this compensation in this meeting okay mackenzie then told his own side of the story i don't even want to talk about it because if i dare mention all the things mackenzie said it would be as if i'm siding mackenzie okay so i i hope that maybe mackenzie also come out to see his own side of the story and maybe people that are bigger than me will see how they can settle this issue because me i tried my best in my own capacity i wish i had recorded what happened that night so it was a very long conversation that the meeting was for like almost three to four hours um then what happened again um at the end of the day they had quarreled they even quarreled in that very meeting Mackenzie will say i used to call you but you won't pick my call i'll ask you how life is you tell me that life is good and um, dennis on the other hand will say uh when i called you for money you told me you didn't have you know they were having issues you know so we tried our best to said to to make the issue come that at the end of the day i told mark you started life with this guy so he used to wash your clothes before you guys used to eat from the same place how does it feel that you are this successful and this guy is struggling with house rent and a lot of things you understand me then mackenzie told me that it's not his fault that he cannot carry everybody along that even though um he owns that he had a lot of work to do on like he said a lot of things that he had it that is not the way most people think that he had so much work to do to get to where he is there's a way he explained it that he has tried his best they took to court he was compensated this one that one and so many things i say okay but right now let's forget what has happened in the past can we say to this issue dennis is not living well what can we do for this young man so then they give then the thing that the uh, messenger told me that he's willing to do anything for dennis but he cannot let dennis come back as a shareholder of mackenzie comedy because he has taken the brand really far already you understand me then i say dennis do you have a problem with that then dennis i don't know i, I can't even remember what dennis said but okay they gave him a blank check what do you want then dennis said that right now his rent have expired and he doesn't even have where he's staying that he's living with his sister then i even asked the sister can you confirm that what dennis is saying is true the sister said yes and i said this does not sound good at all but then then i asked him how much is your rent he mentioned the amount and i was angry i was like bro i did not have i did not call this meeting spend money for flight hotel and so many things just for you to come here to say that what you need is money for rent come on for god's sake you have two kids you are a grown-up man for god's sake you need you need help that is even beyond that you can't come here to be talking about rent 
you understand even his manager also see the same thing that they were not happy that he's mentioning rent and there were so many other things in it then i not mentioned from my perspective as a creator because even before that meeting there were some things i was telling him i will probably talk about in the ending of this video this guy you see for you to survive as a creator right now you need to invest in making sure that there's quality in what you are doing and before now i've already even told him that apart from making an interview with you i personally want to see you succeed if potakot is not favorable to you bro you can come to abuja and i can support you to have a life started here i have equipment you could use mine you understand me work on your script me for you for anybody to pay attention to you you have to be valuable i told him even if i do an interview for you people feel for you probably your views will go up for maybe one week but after then if what you are creating is not valuable enough nobody i'm telling you nobody on this earth will carry your matter on their head people will feel pity for you but genuinely i really want to see you succeed so let's see how we can achieve something reasonable okay um then um i mentioned that i mentioned to mark i said this guy needs equipment for his stuff i don't know a lot of things but from my perspective he needs equipment for his filming i was just saying it for my own um thoughts maybe somebody else would have said something else and i didn't want to mention that maybe he needs also amount of money i just say he needs quality equipment then mark said he has given him equipment the equipment he gave to dennis blah blah, blah. i don't want to see so many things because if i say it you look at me maybe i'm side i'm not side i'm just seeing the truth of what really happened i wish nedu can still convince um Mackenzie to come back to that podcast let the both of them stay there and have this conversation because even in all of this my happiness is to see Denny succeeding that is my happiness so um i told him bro we need to support this guy with some equipment we need to help him even then i i, I you know by the end of the day i don't even know how the matter went so then started arguing at some point i i looked like a fool there and i told him that in fact i'm done talking then they ended the conversation with Max saying that he was going to assist him with his rent and for the equipment. He was going to assist him, but not now that things are difficult at the moment. That he probably assist him later. And then we did prayers and we left. And then um, Dennis messaged me and said, Thank you very much. And that was it. Dennis never told me if Mackenzie ever sent him any money or anything like that. And me, I tried to get a flight in Port Harcourt. There was no flight for like one week. I had to travel down to Uyo to fly back to Abuja. So it's so painful that in all my efforts, what, you know, the way people are seeing it now is that I did all this because I'm trying to get favor from Mackenzie. And it's really, really painful because God sees my intention so i would also i think i also remember calling dennis to ask him bro how is life how are you doing what are you working on how has things been do you understand me i could extend i have about i have staffs you know i could extend some of the services that they offer to me to you as well we could make some videos together i could show my face just to help you increase your views why is your page not monetized the manager managing Makenja is also my manager. He's managing almost all the artists in Nigeria. His name is Apollo. You understand me? I could speak to him. Apollo is a very nice person. Why don't you get your page monetized? Something like that. You know me, I was even more focused on even though you want and I still told him after that meeting, even if you want to still share your story, I will still be interested to share it if you are not satisfied. I told him. I told him this thing. But beyond that i want to see how we could help you why is your um this thing you should be making money from youtube from facebook you know you already have 250,000 subscribers what can we do to get that views coming again you so that you bounce back maybe you need to change your teammates maybe you need to recruit new actors and actress people that will be able to fit into the new vision maybe you need new scripts you know we talked about all those things so it's quite unfortunate that um in that podcast he just mentioned that after i met my Kenji, i changed my mind so um i want to also apologize because f from my perspective i was just trying to be human there are many times that somebody will come to me with stories like just two weeks ago there was this girl who traveled to libya she was 20 years old and um, she went to prostitution and then she came back with hiv and came back pregnant i was supposed to interview her and um 
But then I asked her, is your family aware of the situation? She said no. I told her, I said, even if you cover your face and change your voice, your family recognize you and this is not the best way your family should be hearing this news. I told her I wouldn't tell her story anymore. Those are people that I told directly that I'm not telling your story and I give them good reason. There's another one that came one time and said her dad molested her and um, raped her, you know, and so many things. I saw how emotional she was and I told her that I will not film you until you go for therapy. Do you understand me? I could assist you with it. I didn't want to look like I'm taking advantage of her emotion. There's another story too. Somebody brought a mother abandoned her children for Europe and then the sister, one of her children, the, the, the girl, the elderly sister, traveled to whether by us or Lagos. I don't know that it's prostitution she went there to do and the young little boy was just there all alone. I said, okay, if I film those people, this guy's story, people will feel pity and everything. But what it boils down to is that he needs help. I think I can help this guy. I told them, put them in school. Let's look for one person in Potako that can accommodate this guy. I'll be sending 60,000 naira every month for his upkeep. And that is it. We never had to film. I can, I can go on and on to tell you stories that have come to me. I'm telling you, even governors, some of their family members reach out to me and they want to say this message or I, I like if I if I begin to call names of people that family members have reached out that they wanted to do this, I think my mistake now is that I need to start telling every story that comes my way. Because if I if I try to say okay, let me put like, I don't know, even no matter I try to explain myself, there are people who will never see my point of view. So I'm sorry that I did not uh, from the way I approached it I thought it was the best way even Dennis himself did not see what I tried to do for him and if I, I calculated the expenses I made specifically for that trip alone not even calculating Enugu's own just the trip for Takot and everything I spent was almost about a million naira. so it's painful that at the end of the day people said I only did that because I was trying to protect my interest with Mackenzie for God's sake even if Mackenzie is somebody to be respected, he's a comedian. I'm not a comedian. Why am I? Do you know the kinds of people I talk to every day? You won't even believe the numbers of celebrities that reach out to me. I'm even talking of international creators. Uh, well, some of you haven't seen me in real life, so I really don't know how you judge my standard or anything. But I am sorry if, in all this explanation, some of you feel that. Um, what I did was wrong. I apologize. It is the lessons we learn that will make us to become better people and that will make the job that I do to become better. I've learned my lesson and I know what to do henceforth whenever somebody reaches out to me for story because most times even the people you are trying to help don't even know that you are trying to help them. Maybe I should have just filmed him and that was it. Probably you know i don't really know so i am really sorry i i am caught up in the middle of all this i tried my best to see how i could settle it this is not the first time people are reaching out to me with stories and i'll see if i can settle it without it coming to the media i always tell people something some people think i don't help people with money you have no idea how much i spend the reason i'm not so successful is because i'm trying my best to be there for a lot of people and the way it is right now it is not favoring me you have absolutely no idea if we are able to resolve an issue what is the point of bringing into social media so i think this is my mistake i apologize if you go back to how i started my journey i made a lot of mistakes and the people who love me will always tell me lucky don't do it this way do it this way and i've listened to you and i've been able to grow evolve and become you know something be a force for good so i'll always continue to take your feedback seriously and i'll be able to i'll, I'll continue to learn from it okay i appreciate all of you and I apologize if my judgment was wrong i literally i remember telling dennis if you still want to tell your story i will tell it but i'm just trying to see how you on the other hand he never you, see the whole um, I, in fact i'm just I'm, I'm so sorry the negativity this thing is drawing i'm seeing all the comments i don't know i think this happens to people that are chosen you know the chosen ones they're always the ones that are always misunderstood no matter the decision they make nobody in this world except god you know people judge you by your action not by your intention i really wish you guys i mean i don't know and even after that meeting 
we are supposed to post those pictures but Mackenzie said we shouldn't post it and i didn't know why he said we shouldn't post it he was like we should wait until uh, dennis have gotten those equipment and everything you know blah 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 so that was it so we never i me i never knew that maybe he was going to run his bunch podcast or he was not even satisfied i seriously did not know in all of those i was the one who i don't know i think i've learned my lessons and i'm really sorry so this video is not for everybody it is only for people who truly love me those have been supporting me and those that intention and that intentionally want to hear what really happened so i'm so sorry that i've been misunderstood misrepresented and i just fooled myself and maybe i should have just interviewed him and all this would have been not existing i'm so sorry once more J Clef production she called me a bunny bomb. Get the Sento. I don't want Victor. Victor, they fall my head. I don't want Caro. Caro, na yellow CC. Call me Franca, beautiful girl. That black girl from my Quaibo. That girl is full with sin. I wanna see. Franca, beautiful girl, that black girl from my Bible. That girl is full with love. Take me to yo, let's go to yo. I wanna see my friends. Let's go to yo. I wanna go to yo. Yeah, yeah. I wanna be with my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls from Aquaibo, 